Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have found new evidence to support a theory that the breakup of Antarctic ice may be caused in part by a massive geothermal heat source with output close to the scale of Yellowstone National Park. Now, a geothermal heat source called a mantle plume a hot steam of subterranean molten rock that rises through the Earth's crust may explain the breathing effect visible on Antarctica's Marie Bird land and elsewhere along the massive ice sheet. While the mantle plume is not a new discovery, the recent research indicates it may explain why the ice sheet collapsed in a previous era of rapid climate change 11,000 years ago and why the sheet is breaking up so quickly now. I thought it was crazy. I didn't see how we could have that amount of heat and still have ice on top of it, said Helene Sorusi of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Now, this warm water lubricates what is called an ice sheet from below, allowing glaciers to slide off into the sea. Now, studying meltwater in western Antarctica may allow scientists to estimate how much ice will be lost in the future. That, of course, could uh, lead to rising levels of ocean water. Um, that's certainly interesting, folks, uh, that this, this underground uh, volcano is uh, heating up these glaciers and melting them from within. It's kind of like uh, the United States of America, unfortunately, is imploding. In other words, uh, it's, it's, it's exploding from within. Anyway, folks, I will leave you a link to this. There's much more information on this. I just barely touched on the surface of it. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. Uh, the Kindle's only $1.99, the Kindle Unlimited program. If you are signed up for that, you can read it for free through Amazon. And the paperback is $7.99. And, folks, America is fighting a supernatural battle, as you see in the image there. Folks, this is fiction that uh, the deep state might not want you to read. And I would have to ask you folks, what will you do if this story comes true? This is about now. This is about America, at, to a lesser extent, the world right now. If you are a watcher of world events and tracking the machinations of the deep state, this is edgy, gritty, timely, end times Christian fiction. There isn't a, a thing fluffy about this, folks. This is something you should read. And it is linked below, as I said. You can also read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. Read that for free. You'll meet Dave Jameson, Indie News reporter, one of the primary characters. Uh, there's also a link to some music of mine down there as well, folks. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. And please share it if it feels so led to. Now, most importantly, folks, uh, these are perilous times within the maelstrom that we are living, but do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.